Hey, how's it going, guys? Thanks for stopping out today. Have you guys ever been in before? Okay, you've driven around? Oh, you ran into Bob. Bob's great. Bob and Linda, yeah, they, they, uh, I had an opportunity to work. I started working with them about a year and a half ago now. They've been in their home for a while, and that's great. I'm happy that you got to talk to somebody that lives here. So, um, you know, just like Bob and Linda, you know, most people end up buying with us because of our unique standalone townhome designs, our strong sense of community, as well as the staycation or low maintenance lifestyle. Um, of those, what's, what's most important to you? Okay, perfect. So what I'd like to do now is hear a little bit more about your current home. Perfect. Great. Well, I tell you what, I'd love to hear more about your search. How is that going? I mean, have you, have you seen any other homes? Have you talked to any other builders? Cool. Well, ideally, you know, tell me I, what, what, what is in it. What's in your ideal home? I mean, tell me more about what you are truly looking for in your next home. Okay, that's perfect. So it sounds like you guys are looking to downsize, right? You're in this large home now. You got a bunch of yard and nice big driveway. You're trying to trying to downsize a little bit, get into a community that's that's full of like minded people, um, and uh, you know be able to travel a little bit, be able to turn the key and go. Um, does that sound like what you're looking for? Perfect, perfect. So what I'd like to do now is, um, you know, talk a little bit more about. Is this something that you're planning and you're ready to do right now? I mean, are, are you guys going to be officially making a change now? Perfect. Well, you've given me a little bit of information, but I'd like to hear a little bit more about the must-haves in your current home. And, okay, perfect. Well, let's compare. So, given the fact that you guys are ready to make a change, I actually have a, a, a what we call a signature series spec home. Now, this home is is a home that we're building. Um, it's been professionally decorated with with the finishes from our interior designer, and it's a it, we we do these signature series homes to allow people to you know avoid going through the building process, and the home's basically just ready for you. What I'd like to do is take you through that, and we can compare it to the home that you're currently living in. We can compare it to the ABC plan that you saw last week, and we'll also compare it to that ideal home that you described for me just a few minutes ago. By the end, um, we'll find some certainty that, you know, this home is right for you. What do you say? Perfect. Great. Well, let's go take a peek. So the vision behind this home, you guys, is uh, to allow our buyers to have enough space that they need, but, but also to have everything conveniently located um, on one level. Um, you know, you're, you are going to be sacrificing some square footage, but, but doing that downsize, you're now able to age in place and you're, you're now able to grow, um, in this home and, and, and be here for, for the long haul, um, zero entry, no steps in or out of the front door or the garage. Um, and, and once again, everything's just convenient location, um, you know, throughout this main level. So also, um, I'd like to talk to you real quick about uh, a buyer that I worked with a couple years ago. Um, her name was Audrey, and she was still living in the home that she raised her family in. Um, her husband had recently passed about a year prior to her talking to me, and she thought, hey, I'm just going to stick it out in this home. We have tons of memories. We have This is where we raised our family. This is where I want to be. But, but, but over time, she found that it was much too large for her to maintain on a normal basis. It was The yard was much too large. Um, kind of similar to you guys, nice big long drive. I mean, it was beautiful, but it was just too much for her to maintain. Um, she was so worried about downsizing because she still wanted to have enough space to, you know, bring her kids and her grandkids in and, um, you know, for the holidays or for a long weekend, allow them to stay. Um, so that's what kind of held her back at first. But anyway, she found us and she ended up building a home very similar to, to what we're in today. And what she did was she added the upper level bonus suite, which this home features. And that upper level bonus suite allows you to, um, it adds a, a living room, a full bathroom, um, and a bedroom um, up, or up there. So now when you have guests and uh, people come over and stay, they have their own space. And she loved that. I'll never forget, she called me after the first Christmas season that she was in the home. And she, she was so excited. She was a little bit emotional. And she calls me, she says, Andy, Oh my goodness, I was able to have my entire family, my six kids, my 12 grandkids, everybody had their own spot. 
Um, the grandkids hung out upstairs a lot. It was kind of their own little area. While us adults hung out downstairs, it worked out great. And I'm so happy that I did this. Um, so now what I want you to do is, you know, you mentioned to me that you have a couple kids and you've got some grandkids and, and some more on the way even. Um, visualize yourself. Put yourself in this home. You know, the grandkids are upstairs playing uh, board games. The night It's Christmas Eve. The kids are upstairs playing board games. They're all excited about Christmas Day. And you and your family are sitting around this kitchen table, um, you know, reminiscing and talking about Christmas memories. How does that make you feel? Fantastic. That's great. So guys, um, bringing it all back in here, um, how does this home that we're in today compare to that ideal home that you were talking about? Perfect. Great. And then let's compare it to your current home. What, you know, how does this compare to the one that you're in today? Great. That, that's good to hear. And then, um, you know, you mentioned you walked through ABC's plan uh, last week. Um, how does this plan compare to that one? Okay. So ABC's is a little bit less expensive. The price point's a little bit lower. Now let's take a step back. Let's actually compare the, the community itself as well. I understand that, that ABC is also doing a 55 plus, um, you know, targeted, you know, age demographic community. You know, let's com compare the community a little bit. Okay. So, so ABC... Okay, so the the they don't have a clubhouse or a swimming pool over there. So um, uh, that's one thing to consider. You know, it's 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 a lot of times people that live in our communities. You know, we, this we've done multiple communities, um, and uh, you know, the grandkids are up hanging out at the, at the pool in July with with grandma and grandpa, right? Um, you know, the social activities that happen up there. So I think there's a lot of value in that clubhouse and pool facility. Would you agree? Perfect. Also, as far as the price point goes, um, on top of the extra amenities, um, you know, I know ABC. I know they do a great job. Um, I know several of their of their staff, and they're they're a great company. They do awesome work. Um, however, we do build a little bit differently than they do. Um, for instance, here's me talking about the differences. So now that you have a better understanding of of why our prices are a little bit higher. Um, you know, does that help, you know, get you guys over the, the, the price point discussion? Perfect. So first of all, guys, listen, we've, we've covered a lot, right? We, we've looked at that. We've looked at an entire home. We, we've been inside, outside. Um, we, we, we've talked about, you know, all the benefits and, and we've checked a lot of boxes. Um, so first of all, great job on providing me the roadmap to help you get to this point. Um, but it seems like we're both uh, on the same page and we're heading in the right direction. Would you agree? Fantastic. Great. Well, at this point, have you guys decided that, that, that King's Landing and, and the Verona plan are, are going to be the, um, your choice and your next move? Are we going to go ahead and move forward? Great. So you guys, now that we've, now that we've, we've identified that you want to be here at King's Landing and, and you love the Verona plan, right? This, this home is, is great. Um, let's talk about some options. So, um, you know, this spec home or signature series spec home is an option that you have and um, you could absolutely buy this home and move into it. But you did mention that the paint color wasn't ideal, um, that you might want a different color. Um, so I want to present a couple options for you to choose from. So let's walk up to the clubhouse and look at a site map where it's nice and blown up. We can take a nice, nice look at the lots that we have available as well as this signature series spec home. We can compare them. So now that we're looking at this site map, um, obviously the spec, the, the, the signature series home that we saw is available. Um, so that would be option a option B, we could go ahead and, and build one just like it on, on this lot, lot 10, uh, lot 10 is going to provide you with a gorgeous view of the water, the, the, the nice big pond that's centrally located there. Um, and then option C, we could go ahead and put that Verona plan. It, it does work on lot, uh, 17 as well. And, you know, that doesn't have much of a view, but you do get a little bit more common area space. It's also a little bit less expensive than um, lot 10. Um, of those three options, uh, which is your favorite? Great. So it seems to me like a view is important because the spec home has the view of the, of the, of the pond. So does lot 10. Um, so it seems like we can toss lot three, you know, out of the mix. 
Okay, perfect. So now that we've got it narrowed down to the Signature Series spec home, as well as the build to order option on 10, uh, which of those two is your favorite? Great. You know, I think there is a lot to be said about, um, you know, going at and, and being able to just move into the home without having to worry about the, the construction process and, and uh, you know, everything like that. And, you know, knowing that the home is done, you, you, you've seen it and not to mention you can close and move in within the next 30 days. So, um, you guys, it, it sounds like the Signature Series spec home, that Verona that we walked through, Sounds like that's the one. Is there is there anything else that's holding you back from moving forward with us today? Great. I tell you what, let me go grab my computer. We'll go ahead and print out the contract. We'll get that filled out. It'll be super easy and quick, and we'll make that home yours. All right. Thank you.